France is constructing a 5 billion euro canal to Germany that will boost its economy and impact the environment. Due to its close proximity to the Atlantic and the fact that several of Europe's largest rivers pour out into the region, Northwestern Europe hosts the busiest ports on the continent. Every year, they handle hundreds of millions of tons of imports, which are then distributed across the continent via barges and other modes of transport. However, for these barges to traverse Europe, its rivers must be connected. As a result, throughout history, Northwestern Europe has established an extensive canal network. Of these canals, two of the most important geographically are the Canal du Nord and the Canal du Saint-Quentin which connect the Rhine in Germany and the canals, ports, and rivers of the Netherlands and Belgium with the Oise and Seine rivers in France. Unfortunately though, they are incredibly outdated. The Canal du Saint-Quentin, which opened in 1810, can only support a maximum boat beam of 5 meters. The Canal du Nord is no better. Built as a duplicate route, construction started in 1908 but was halted by the outbreak of World War I in 1914. The war caused widespread destruction to the canal, and in fact, in September 1918, it was used as a major defensive position by the German army during the Battle of the Canal du Nord, which resulted in over 30,000 Canadian casualties. The canal remained damaged for over 40 years, until 1960, when construction finally recommenced. However, by the time of its completion in 1965, the canal, with its 5-meter maximum boat beam, was already considered inadequate. Fast forward 60 years later, and the two canals present a major bottleneck for inland barge transport, forcing the majority of cargo traffic between the two regions to be transported via truck. As a result, the idea of replacing the Canal du Saint-Quentin and the Canal du Nord with a larger 21st century canal called the Canal du Saint-Nord has emerged. The concept was first introduced in 1975, but did not take off. Then, in 1993, it was debated by the French government, and over the following years, the Voie Navigable du France carried out preliminary studies. In 2002, the canal route was selected. In 2003, the project was added to a list of French priority projects, and in 2008, the canal received a declaration of public utility. However, the financial crisis of 2008 soon halted progress. By 2013, though, interest had been reclaimed, and in 2016, French President François Hollande authorized construction, while establishing the Société du Canal Saint-Nor Europe to manage the project. Over the following years, the Société continued research and applied for EU funding. Then, in 2019, the final financing agreement was signed by all parties, with the EU covering 41% of all project costs. With this important milestone reached, the canal could now finally be realized. While the Canal Saint-Nord will unite the waterways of Europe, what's just as important is uniting its people. One of the best ways to do this is through language. Fortunately, with today's sponsor, Speakly, you can master languages quickly. Speakly was created by two polyglots who studied thousands of language learners over six years to develop the most efficient way to learn a language. The result, a method that teaches words and sentences based on their relevance in real-life situations. Based on research, this special methodology helps people learn languages up to five times faster, allowing you to go from zero to solid speaking skills in only a few months with only 30 minutes of daily practice. I can strongly support these claims. Recently, I've been using Speakly to learn some basic Italian for an upcoming trip, and it's crazy how quickly I'm advancing. The exercises are fun and engaging, and once you realize how quickly you're learning, they become addicting. As someone who learned Spanish years ago and who has tried out multiple language learning platforms, I can confidently say that Speakly is my favorite. And even better, they offer eight languages on both web and mobile. To try Speakly for free for seven days and get a 60% discount if you join the annual subscription, click the link in the description. Thank you, Speakly. And now, back to the video. The Canal Saint-Nord will stretch 107 kilometers along the existing Canal du Nord, across the Eau de France region, uniting the Oise River near Compiègne to the Dunkirk Scheldt Canal near oisy le verger It will be 54 meters wide and 4.5 meters deep, with six locks along its length. 
Each lock will take 30 minutes to cross and will include a chamber stretching 200 meters in length and 12.5 meters in width, allowing for the passage of barges up to 185 meters long and 11.5 meters wide. This corresponds to a maximum barge capacity of 4,400 tons, compared to only 650 for the Canal du Nord. To cross the protected Somme River Valley, the Canal saint nord will include a 1.3 kilometer long, 30 meter tall canal bridge across the river, which will preserve the area's wetlands and the natural flow of the Somme. Right next to it, there will also be a seventh smaller lock that will unite it with the Canal du Nord. In addition to this main canal bridge, there will also be two smaller ones across the A26 and A29 motorways. Not only will the canal send nor span existing infrastructure, existing infrastructure will span it. A total of 62 road and rail bridges will traverse the canal, with a minimum vertical clearance of 7 meters each. Along the length of the canal send nor a total of four ports will be constructed. Together, these will include 330 hectares of terminals and business parks, which will serve as gateways to the canal for companies in the surrounding region. To preserve the canal's water level during periods of low inflow, a 14 million cubic meter reservoir will also be excavated north of Caron, which will be capable of supporting the canal for four months by itself. Lastly, the Canal saint nor will be environmentally and socially friendly. For every tree felled during construction, three will be planted, resulting in 850,000 new planted trees. There will be 45 spaces for wildlife crossings, including a dedicated wildlife passage at Avraku. The canal will also have 25 kilometers of lagoon banks, more than 1,100 hectares of environmental improvements, 75 kilometers of hedges, 200 kilometers of banks accessible to walkers, and 20 fishing pontoons. Once complete, the Canal saint nor will take between 15 and 18 hours to traverse. It will involve 24.5 square kilometers of land acquisitions and 55 million cubic meters of earthworks, including 25 million cubic meters of excavations and 30 million cubic meters of landfill. In total, the project will cost 5.1 billion euros, 2.1 billion of which will be financed by the EU, 1.1 billion by the French government, 1.1 billion by the regional and departmental governments of Ile-de-France, Hauts-de-France, Oise, Somme, Pas-de-Calais, and Nord, and the remaining 0.8 billion from loans. Further out, the project is part of the larger Seine-Scheldt European Waterway, which will include further investments along the dunkirk scheldt Canal, on the Leia River in Flanders, and along the waterways of Wallonia, helping unite the Seine to the Scheldt and Rhine River basins. The Canal saint nor will generate many benefits for France and the European Union. First of all, it will destroy the bottleneck between the Seine and Rhine rivers, allowing large barges to efficiently transport cargo from the ports of Dunkirk, Antwerp, Rotterdam, and Amsterdam to the Seine, Paris, and beyond. As a result, it is projected that traffic on the canal will reach between 15 and 18 million tons a year by 2035. And by 2060, it is predicted the canal will result in five times more river traffic on the Nord-Ile-de-France axis and 20 to 35 percent more traffic on the Seine axis. Further out, the project will unite northern France with over 20,000 kilometers of navigable European waterways, significantly expanding trade opportunities. Maybe most importantly, though, the canal will positively impact the environment. A barge carrying 1,500 tons of cargo can carry the equivalent of 220 trucks, while producing one-third the CO2 emissions. By diverting cargo traffic from trucks to barges, it is estimated the canal will prevent more than 50 million tons of CO2 emissions over 40 years. Lastly, by diverting cargo traffic away from the motorways, the canal will result in 1 million fewer trucks on the roads of France every year, and up to 2.3 million off the roads of Europe along the seine esco link. This will decrease congestion along the A1 motorway, increasing public satisfaction. 
Since funding was secured in 2019, the Canal San Nor has advanced significantly. On April 8, 2021, environmental clearance was given for Sector 1, which stretches 18 kilometers from Compiègne to Passel. As a result, in 2022, preliminary works began along the sector, including three new docks, three new bridges across the future canal, and the rescinding of the Oise at Montmartre. Meanwhile, archaeological studies have been underway, since the Canal saint nor will cross land that was once the Western Front during World War I, it will have to deal with the delicate task of unearthing relics and soldiers' remains. In addition to this, project studies have been finalized, land acquisitions have progressed, and environmental clearance for the rest of the route has been pursued. Throughout 2024, contracts will be awarded, and finally in 2025, construction on the larger canal is planned to begin. By its opening in 2030, the Canal saint nor will revolutionize France's canal network, helping boost transport efficiency and positively impact the environment. If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you like and subscribe to Futurology for more videos very similar to this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.